the Carpathians, Europe's only true wilderness. A primeval ecosystem home to wolves, lynx, and the largest concentration of brown bears in the world. Situated in a great arc that sweeps across modern-day Romania, the Carpathians comprise almost 60% of all the virgin forest we have left. It's a vast kingdom of ancient oaks, towering beech and pine, where mountain pastures become a carpet of wildflowers every spring and hillsides blaze copper in the autumn sun. Today, the forests of Carpathia are being decimated at a faster rate than the Amazon jungle. While the world focuses its attention on South America, Africa and Indonesia, here on our doorstep, Europe's last Eden is facing imminent destruction. If the current rate of deforestation continues, within decades, it will be lost forever. The European Nature Trust was established as part of a growing effort to prevent this from happening. It's really through lack of industrialization and the communist regime that a lot of these forests are still standing. And in, in other parts of Europe, we've, we've cut down our trees over the last millennia. And I really think that Romania is a unique gem. It's a jewel in the crown of, of European nature. If we come in here and we destroy the forest, we take them down and we hunt the animals, you know, we just break it all up. And we've done it before. We've done it time and time again in other parts of Europe. And I think it needs to become like a huge reserve, a preserved area. We want to set an example so that hopefully in the future, other people will look at that and say, what a wonderful idea, what a wonderful plan. There's more value in a standing forest than there is in a felled one. And that's the really important message for the European Nature Trust. Saving and protecting this untamed landscape will not be easy due to corruption, greed, and the needs of big business. Romania is an emerging nation, and one of its key resources is timber. In its rush to modernize and meet demand, whole mountainsides are being clear felled. Vital migratory routes are also being blocked by additional road networks and reckless new development. While in other areas, mineral exploitation is poisoning the soil and water systems. Few of us realize that over the last millennia, 99% of all Europe's forests have been felled. Half of the 1% that's remaining are here in Romania. This wood is a huge carbon store, vitally important for the production of oxygen. Without these woods, we will not survive. And it's so important to preserve them in perpetuity. This region could rival Yellowstone or Yosemite, a bright example to the rest of the world of how man can coexist in harmony with nature without detriment to either, as has happened for thousands of years. But the only hope of achieving this is to change the way the wilderness is perceived by the people that live there, particularly the younger generation. This is why Tent has set up a unique education program to quite literally take the message to those that need to hear it most. Wild Kingdom is a mobile learning experience designed to inspire the next generation with a deeper love and understanding of their natural surroundings. Employing a fleet of specially equipped double-decker buses, we will visit schools and remote villages across the country teaching young people the importance of protecting the forest and preserving the balance of nature. Environmental issues take low priority on the syllabus of most Romanian schools. By reaching over 20,000 children in the first year, we can start to make a real difference. In the bus, we are going to teach children a totally different lesson from what they learn in schools. We're trying to get them out of their formal classes and uh, expose them to an informal program, totally interactive. We are going to teach them about forest, about biodiversity, but through really innovative tools like multimedia, like role-playing, and they will understand and they will learn what is the effect of what we're doing today. So we have to do something now, 
because our children will ask us, where were you when this was happening? So we're trying with this bus to uh, make people aware and to tell children uh, what is happening and through them I'm sure that we can reach their parents and we can make a change. The question remains, can Romania avoid making the same mistakes as countries like France, Germany or Britain, where once majestic forests have been reduced to small patches of woodland or dense plantations incapable of sustaining other forms of life? Please support TENT's continued efforts to educate and inform to encourage and secure this essential and fragile ecosystem before it's too late and one of the great wonders of the natural world is lost forever.